It's Kent and Izzy here for another review. We're up here in Poudre Canyon. You can hear the river. Yeah, I love the river sound, man. I can just sit there all day long. But anyway, today is the 2022 Tundra TRD Pro Off-Road Machine. And of course, it's got a fake hood scoop. I guess there's a piece of plastic you can take off underneath and maybe cool off something. But anyway, this is the elevated one. They jacked it up an inch and a half in the front and a half inch in the back. And it's got a, a 3.8 V6 six speed. You know, six speed's been around for a hundred years. And so I guess they thought they would do it for another hundred years. But how much power do we have, Izzy? We have 278 horsepower, 265 torque. Awesome. So it's not like a real fast machine, but it's, you know, it's an off-road machine. So that's how it's made two-speed transfer case and all that. So they got different tires and wheels this year. They've got, you know, different shocks. It's got those Fox shocks with the bypass and the piggyback reservoir on the back end. And we'll show you a bunch of the other stuff on it because it's not a bad loaded one. And my favorite thing, which I guess I've talked about, is it's got a six-way power seat. So I no longer have to lay on the floor. Right. <laughs> I can elevate myself, get some thigh Lift support. Lift yourself up, yep. It's thigh support. So come join us for the review. Well, there it is. This is the power plant. 3.8 V6. Looky, looky. It's got a TRD special cold air intake. Give it a little more power. But yeah, it's that V6. Of course, this color about glows in the dark. What did I say its color was? Uh, electric green? Electric lime. Lime, yeah. that's right. Cool. And I get a kick out of these guys. Well, there's that little piece of plastic you're supposed to be able to take out, but they really reinforce this. I've been in tundras where the whole hood would just flap it in the wind. Was, now I see that on this taco that they re reinforced it. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. There's the power plant and then the old six speed. Look at those nice L LED lights. They even are branded TRD. And there's the TRD wheels. Cool. And I like this. This is the Tacoma badging. Black against that electric green. Looks for electric lime. And then, look at that exhaust. Got a little different exhaust. But there, it's in, stamped in the sheet metal. TRD Pro. And this is another thing. Now, I'm also trying out a new hitch from uh, Gen Y. This is a, a torsion flex. It's a boss. And this one's up to a 10,000 pound trainer. We're going to do a bunch of testing with this with weight distributing hitch, but that is our flex hitch. That actually take all the, the bumps out of this trailer so we don't feel it. We've got about almost 3,000 pounds on the in his loaded trailer. And we'll see if this torsion flex boss makes it feel better. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> There's a manual parking brake. None of this e-brake crap. We haven't so, seen that in no, no, any of these new trucks. Yeah, you'll always have that if you need to stop and park. So you know this is. That's one thing you want in an off-road truck is you don't want things to break down on you. You don't want the walk back down the mountain. No, and I so. don't mind that. These, I like the, the cool brakes. Yeah, it's it's good. And this is a truck that you can get muddy. Well, you're all set. You got the sunglasses off. You got that long hair. You got the shorts. Yeah. You are ready. You're Hollywood material now.
I can wear shorts, but I think it'll scare people. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you'll learn how to swim. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I got all these boats and I can't I use can't them. Even <laughs> oh. My parents just bought a new boat. Oh, cool. It's a great big one. It's really nice. Yowzer. I always wanted one. I got. It's like a pontoon, but it's three bulkheads, but it's three whatever, whatever they're called. But. Need a little bit of work, and my son's finally gonna work on my jet skis. I bought them too, so they can go play in Jackson Lake. Mm -hmm. I can do videos. And now they're finally thinking about doing it. All my years is gonna take to get it done. Mm. I was a lot more ambitious when I was their age. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> kids these days. <clears throat> yeah. Well, guess what we're driving today. <laughs> It is the electric lime. Oh well, do you like this color? Um, uh, I think it really pops on the road. Yeah, everybody which notices. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people stop and just ask us what it is. Uh huh. I think it's a fun color. Yeah. See, I'm an old man, so I'm not into the crazy colors. Yeah. You know, this is almost like a fluorescent green, but. It is. I think I could get used to it. Yeah. Well, it'd be nice in a snowstorm. They can find out where you went off the road at. Yep, they'd be able to out. spot you pretty easily. And this is the 2022 Tacoma TRD Pro. So this is like the loaded, loaded one. This is the one everybody takes to the mountains. And it was interesting as this is rated 22 on the highway, which is what the Tundra we had last week was. That's kind of weird. Yeah, this is a lot smaller. Yeah. And this, this is just a V6 with a six speed, but you know, Tundra had the, the twin turbos and the 10 speed. And this is about $10,000 less than what the Tundra was. So, to me, that's interesting. But anyway, MSRP on this one is 50733 I didn't even let you bad. guess. That's terrible. Well, you gave me a hint. I thought it was 10 less, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going up Poudre Canyon. It's gorgeous up there now. Everything's green. Let's we'll see how many rafts are in the river today. This is what day is this? Thursday? So yeah. I guess college is out. They can be anybody in here now. Yeah, last time there was tons of people. Yeah. And we're towing today my ATV trailer with my side-by-side -side Honda in it. So, we're just a hair under 3,000 pounds. Okay. And this rascal can actually tow 6,400 pounds. Yeah, it's a six-speed, so it's like the oldest transmission in the midsize. But this is the number one selling in the midsize, so I guess they figure they don't care. And they'll keep selling it the way it is. But Toyota does that, so does Nissan. They... They wait 15 years to make a change. I think mm -hmm. this has been eight years without much of a change. <coughs> Boy, the river's almost full. I hope we don't get a real fast snowpack melt like they've done in Montana and Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. But the river looks like it's about full. It's about yeah, top it of the is. bank. Yeah. So is the stream behind my house. It's super cool, too. Which really? Is surprising, yeah. Well, that means you guys can go swimming in your backyard. Yep, hook That's a raft up to a yeah. tree and yeah. just float. It's, it's <laughs> probably about six foot deep or so. So then you can do all kinds of things. Now, this has got the special off road suspension. So it actually rides pretty nice, but it's got uh, what are the name of these shocks? I'll figure it out, but it's all well, they're Fox shocks, they're two and a half internal bypass. One end, I think the back end's got piggyback reservoirs on it. But anyway, <coughs> I'll show you the bed liner. And this is that this is what's been a composite plastic bed forever. And this one, like the Tundra, has got that rubber mat in there, so you don't 
slip sliding away. Yeah, that's nice. But we'll show you the it's stamped on the side of it. It's not just paint, it's actually stamped in the metal TRD Pro. A lot of badging on this. And let's see, it's got the TRD Pro on everything, the shifter knob. It's they really do a good job of telling you what it is. And this has yeah, this show the rear ones have the remote reservoirs on those Fox shocks. It's got the rigid in industries, the LED fog lights, which is getting to be a real popular thing. And of course that big skid plate in front, saying it's a 16 inch odd. No, it's a it's a skid plate with the red TRD Pro stamped in it. And then we got 16 inch TRD black alloy wheels. It's got a locking rear differential. I'm sure the guys who really get serious will put lockers on the front of these. But there's a lot of people that go off-roading with these. It's pretty mm -hmm. popular in the Tundra. In that class of folks. Yeah, 3.5 V8 with a six-speed. Is that a phone charge down by your glasses? I couldn't tell if there was one down there or not. Um, let's test it out. I can't really tell if that's a phone charger or not. Must not be. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little storage compartment. Yeah. Cause I don't. Huh. Yep. It's just a storage compartment. So you got a cup holder there, and then two cup holders yeah. up front, and then yeah, the eight-inch screen. And let's see. Yeah, it's got dual temperature zone for this small vehicle. Why in the world do you need two temperature zones? Yeah. But I guess it works. And then we're going to defrost. Now there's your four wheel drive button. I think it's uh, what, two wheel drive, four high, four low. Yep. And the push button start. Now let's see, isn't that the, the mode is a heater and then there's a fan switch on top. Heated seats. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, go through the cameras for me. All right, the button's way over here on the other side of the wheel. Okay, on the left side, that's good. Now those blue ones, I love it. It helps me line up parallel parking and all that sort of get too close to the car next to me at Walmart and there's like a 360 camera is there any more modes on the, on the camera thing good now that's the front that's just too cool you see right where that rock is in the cliff when you're driving over it yep what else does it have any more modes that's about it I'll be darned. Uh, I think if you put it in reverse it has a backup yeah, camera see, you can see our, yeah there there's the go. trailer and there's some kind of a middle line I found that when I was hooking it up yesterday See, it, it, it's flashing because it thinks there's a trailer behind us and doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh. There we go. Okay. One of your backup sensors. And let's see, is there anything exciting over there? It's got a small little console, which is not real big. But it's not a real big vehicle. Now let's yep. see. Let's go up here, see what I can see in this overhead. Now that, is, that's the rear locker button right there. And there's the crawl button. Well, push the crawl button. Let's see what, what it comes up with. Does it tell us something? Does it lock it in four-wheel drive, or do we have to put it It says crawl not available, select four low. Okay, the cell only works in four low. That's how a lot of these systems work. And there's the moon roof. Yeah, SOS, save our ship, whatever we do with that. But yeah, sometime we'll take these off-roading because that's really a neat system. Yeah, Toyota likes to use letters. They don't tell you one thing is, they just put a bunch of letters like MTS or down there when it's the ECT. And the ECT is kind of like a tow haul mode, but it does something in the transmission to wrap it up as far as RPMs. And I've used that many times. I do what I'm towing. But yeah, yeah, this well, is what there is. Go over this? The window in the back? Yeah, let's see if I can see the window in the back. Yeah, do that again. Yeah, it's not That's as cool nice. as the Crew Max from the no. Tundra, but oh well. Well, this is cool. Look, I'm 13.8, 13.8 miles per gallon. That's up and down the mountain, towing uh, right under 33,000 pounds. That's really good. 13.8. And of course, empty, it did get up there, you know, 18 and above. It was right at 22 on the highway. 
This is awesome. And the payload's 11.55. I was going to throw one of my ATVs in there, but I just got too lazy to get it in there. So we're pulling the trailers, and someday we'll go off-roading with these things. Even in the winter, we may just take it up and see if we can get stuck somewhere. It's a 5.1 bed, so it's, that's pretty typical for the mid-sized class. It's got a 21-gallon tank. And the updated suspension, you know, with those Fox shocks, you also have a one and a half inch lift on the front, and it's a half inch lift on the rear. They leveled this out. Most people don't go tone if they do tow, you know, it's the light like we're pulling with ATVs or side by sides or mm -hmm. jet skis, you know. Right. Maybe a very, very small horse trailer. 6,400 pounds would get you in a two horse trailer. Yeah. I'd put a horse in there, maybe two. Yeah, and this has got a receiver hitch, it just doesn't have a brake controller. And in Colorado, the law is if you're under 3,000 pounds, you don't have to have a brake, trailer brakes. Okay. So we're legal. The tires and wheel are new this year. Now, these tires, to me, they don't look like an off-road tire, but I guess that's what they give you, and they do pretty well. I think they have a really big knobby one, but this is what they have for the package. Now, my favorite thing that they've changed on this is the seats. I've always thought, you know, the seats in these tundras, they, they make you lay on the floor. Might as well just take the seat out. Yeah. Because that's where they put you. Ground. Yeah, so you have no thigh support, none of that. But lo and behold, this one has a power seat on that side. I don't remember if it's a six way or a hundred way, but it is adjustable power and that's nice so i could actually when i got in i raised it way up mm -hmm. so i did have thigh support and on the passenger side i moved the seat back so i can put stretch my legs out that gives me some thigh support but you know a wide body reporter i need some room and tomorrow i'll be hauling three grandkids in here so we'll see how they fit oh there's the rafts yeah, yippee ki -yay. I see more rifts, rafts in this river than I do in the one coming up by 70. And there's a bunch of places that rent rafts along there. But yeah, we um, when we went to Estes Park, we didn't see very many yeah. rafters up there either. I think this must be the most popular popular spot for it. Yeah, it's got pretty good white water, in there, but it's got some giant boulders in there. I'm not so sure I would like those. I guess they're wearing helmets. They can bounce off the rock. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try that. <laughs> but that's you can often, swim. Yeah, you're doing good. Now, from what I've seen of this, it does ride a little better than the old models. The old models used to be pretty shaky. The only time this is shaky is when you use crawl. I don't know if we get a chance to use it or not, but it's got crawl modes to where it just kind of the ABS controls how fast you're going up and down the mountains mm -hmm. when you're off-roading, and it's nice, but... You know, that's what they, their big brag point on the TRD Pro on the Tundra is that it was much quieter and less jerky than what we know the Tacomas has. Right. So eventually they'll get around to changing that on this one too. The front upper control arms are different. And what else does this thing have? I'll have to wait till I stop bouncing so I can read some more stuff to you. Yeah, 50,733. Now, you know, the, the nickname for this is Taco. Taco? You know why they call them tacos? I do not. Because they're made in Guada, Guada, Guanayoto, Mexico. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what that name is. But yeah, they're just made in Mexico, so they come where the tacos come from. Okay. So that makes sense to me. Guanyan Yoto, Mexico, whatever that is. So there's an interesting fact you probably didn't know. I didn't know it. Usually I'm always interested. Holy cow, somebody's flying around us on the curves. On a double line. <laughs> it must be suicidal. It must be. Because you can't tell what's ahead of you on the curve up here. Crash is a five star, everything else is a four star. So I guess we're okay. We're safe? Yeah, if we roll into the river, we just gotta make sure we get out. Oh, it's lovely up here. It's so nice and cool, too. Mm -hmm. You gotta come up here just to cool off. Yeah. We got 100 degree weather we've had. Man. 
Yeah, the rivers are full, so if we were to have that you know, 100 mile, 100 degree temperature for you know the month of July, we would have some floods all over around here. Because that's to the peak. And that's about when the peak normally is, is in July. And that's when the rivers are the fullest, but you know, that's not good if it's that we start peaking early. Oh well, I guess we also go buy a raft just in case. Yeah. And you're right close to the water. You I'm may need right a big there, raft. Yeah. yeah. Get all my animals on a raft. Yeah, build you a tree house so you can get up and above it. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, we should get us a raft anyway. All these everybody else is rafting up here. Might as well be us. And you can swim. I may have to just wear a lot of life jackets. That's my plan. So this handles the curves pretty flat, doesn't it? Yeah. You don't feel much lean. No. It's those I like cool the shots. Way it handles. Yeah, it is. It's and it's a much better ride. I remember these things used to just shake the crap out of you. Now this is this is pretty nice. It's really popular truck in Colorado. I think we passed like four of them. Yeah, and they all get to the do to go to the mountains on the weekends and go mm -hmm. see how far they can go. We've done that before, take them up in snowstorms up in Boulder Canyon. So many times we can get stuck. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, what do you think, as a woman's perspective, is this something you would buy or recommend to your friends? Of course, I know it's not going to tow a big trailer, but do you, do you like the truck or what do you think? I like the truck minus the fact that you can't pull a lot with it. Yeah. Um, it's not a speed would, demon. I mean, I don't know if you've really tried to go fast. Yeah, it's been kind of hard, but when I was trying to speed up on the highway, it does. It is a lot slower. Yeah. Getting up to speed, but it's comfortable. Yeah. Oh, well, go ahead. It's got all the features that you need. Yeah, it is, and it's, you know, I guess it's plastic. It's made to get muddy and dirty and everything else and just wipe it down. Wow, look at all those wraps. That's a lot That's of wraps. Goodness. Well, that's cool. I guess it's a good time to do it because, you know, they got plenty of water in the river. Yeah, this is a good mountain truck, I would say, if you like driving up and camping in the mountains. Yeah. Well, it's got a little kind of a high step in height, but that's, you know, it's the lift and everything that that's what you want for off-road. But I can still reach down over the side of the bed and get tools and out get of it. Stuff out, yeah. yeah, so I've always liked, I used to call them mini trucks, now they're called mid-size, where the bed is so accessible. If you're going to haul a lot of tools and do a lot of stuff, it's right there. I mean, I think landscapers could use one of these. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> you know a landscaper? That's a pretty good point. I might know one. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's got to be a usable truck, but you know, it's their dependability that keeps them number one in this class. You know, Ford Ranger was number one 10 years ago, whatever it was, and everybody jumped out except for Nissan and Toyota. They stayed right with it, and it's paid off for them. They sell a ton of these. Big following on yeah, these Tacomas. Not, you see them all over the place. Yipper. Well, if they last as long as my truck, then it's a good truck. <laughs> Yeah, well, they should be. I know, you know, diesels are supposed to last a long time, even though at a certain point they get expensive with injectors and glow yeah, plugs. But, you know, every gas engine that I've had in the last 15 years, they've all lasted really 120,000 without much problem. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, so we're catching up to Toyota with the rest of the brands, but the Toyota guys, you know, they don't even think about it with less than 300,000. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that do that one million mile mark, which is awesome. But that's that's why people are loyal to Toyotas. They last long. I mean, I remember I do a lot with the horse industry, and I would go to these horse shows and you know show them all the new technology for trucks and trailers. And the folks in, and the trail riding women would walk up to me and they'd say, you know, if Honda made a dually diesel, I'd buy it. So yeah. They love that kind of dependability and. Uh -huh. You know, we haven't had it in trucks for quite a while, and now they're all improving, so now you just got to worry about all the electronic things. But, yep, and it's just truck, this is more basic. I don't know if this has less chips than other mid-sizes or not, but don't worry about it. That's 
And then the seats are actually pretty good. Even my white butt fits in them. Yeah, I'm really comfortable in the seats. Now if we can just cut out the hood scope so I can see. Well, let's see. Where is the camera? You got the camera button. I wonder if we're going slow enough for that front one to turn on. I love those camera buttons. Let's see. Probably won't. We're probably going too fast. Well, it doesn't work. Yeah, gotta wait till we slow down. But you've seen that. We showed you pictures of that, and I really like that front camera. When you're you know, climbing rocks and stuff, you can see just where those big rocks are. You can see where all kinds of things are. And you can see the edge of the cliff, which you're about to jump off mm -hmm. of. A lot of times when you're on a shelf road, it's really nice to see where the edge is, where the front is, where everything is. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad for, thanks for watching. And what else do we tell the folks back home? Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you at the gas station. Yeah, probably several times right now. <laughs> we all want some $5 gas. <laughs> well, thanks.